everyone and all, this is Sushma. I'm from Department of CSC Data Science from BV Raju Institute of Technology, Narsapur. And today my course name is Machine Learning. Today's topic is Introduction to Machine Learning. First, we learn what is the course objectives and then course outcomes. Coming to the course objectives, understand the fundamentals of machine learning and its various learning paradigms. And the next is comprehend the statistical decision theory and its application in regression as well as classification. Next, analyze the Bay bias, variance, trade-off and its significance in machine learning. And the fourth point is build and interpret regression and classification models such as linear regression, logistic regression and navy base. And the last is understand and implement different clustering algorithms such as partitioning clustering, hierarchical clustering and density blade based clustering. Next is course outcomes. After the successful completion of the course, the students would be able to apply the basic principles and concepts of machine learning and its various learning paradigms. And the next is apply the same statistical decision theory in regression and classification models to make informed decisions. And the next is implement the same bias, variance, trade-off and its importance in machine learning models. And the next is interpret regression and classification models such as linear regression, logistic regression and navy base. The same implement the clustering algorithms such as partition clustering, hierarchical clustering, density placed clustering and develop the application, develop whatever we have studied in the real world applications. Let us start the introduction of machine learning. What is machine learning? Why this machine learning is introduced? Why is this trending, this machine learning, artificial intelligence and deep learning? Let us understand. Previously, we have to program the each and every concept, apply it in the real world system. But in order to make ourselves simplic simplify the programming techniques, we use this machine learning. In this machine learning, we will not use most problems. In order to solve the complex problems, we just make the model understand the previous data and then work. Here, the programming skills are used very less comparatively to the other languages. This machine learning is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on enabling the computers to learn and improve from the past experiences. And a rap if this is a developing field of technology, machine learning allows computers to automatically learn from the previous data. For building mathematical models and making predictions based on historical data or information, machine learning employs a variety of algorithms. Here first, how does machine learning works? Let's say we have a complex problem in which we need to make predictions. Instead of writing code, we just need to feed the data to generic algorithms which build the logic based on the data and predict the output. Let us understand the block diagram of ML. How does it works? Here, input past data. How we have to input the past data? Suppose, a uh, machine learning has to recognize the uh, at different animals. First, we have to feed the machine learning with different animals, pictures or different animal images, cat, dog and camel. And the prediction would be the next animal. It might be a lion, it might be a tiger, etc. And next, by inputting the data, by giving the input to the model, we will train. All the next state is given as machine learning algorithm. The different types, there are many different types of machine learning algorithms. There are uh, Navy base, decision tree, logistic regression, linear regression, random forest and etc. We will discuss about all these algorithms in our future slides. 
next the model will be learning the different algorithms and then we build a different logis logical models and the logical mod and here after learning all the uh, logical models we train our model with a new data and it finally gives you the output and coming to the applications where this machine learning is used image recognition where our biometric uh, face detection works in the real world we use this ma ml uh, ml concept and next is face recognition and the next is self driving cars which is tesla which is used which is nowadays in which is which is nowadays used in the real world and the next is online fraud detection and next topic is machine learning life cycle uh being a um, ml engineer an ml engineer has to follow a uh, seven steps the first is he or she has to gather the data and he has to prepare the data he or she has to data wrangle the data wrangle the data analyze the data train the data and test the model first this gathering the data how we have to gather the data from where we have to gather the data we have to gather the data from different sources we have lot of sources from where we can collect the data uh, they are from kaggle you can connect you can collect the data and from different sources from internet you can collect the data and from different mobile devices we can collect the data all this data collection is meant in data set that is uh, we will collect the data and we place it in a data set and the next is data preparation what is this data preparation about after collecting the data we need to prepare it for further steps the like data preparation is a step where we put our data into a suitable place and prepare it to use in our machine learning training the step is for the divided into two, two steps one is data exploration and the other is data pre processing data exploration is nothing but understanding the characteristics of our data understanding the format of our data and quality of our data before working with any data we need to understand the characteristics of data what type of data it is it is in which format and what is the quality of data that is what our data exploration is and the next is data pre processing the other name of data pre processing is data cleaning what is this data cleaning about whatever the raw data we have collected we have to make it sensible how do you make a data sensible you have to identify the outliers the missing values and the repetitive data in our data set we have to remove all those extra all those information which is irrelevant for our problem statement for that purpose we can now view the data and remove the null values outliers and etc Uh, or else, uh, if at all there is a problem statement, if at all we are working on a problem statement, we have to. We can also refer different papers or different IEEE papers to learn the different papers, and then from that uh, we'll understand what are the things that are irrelevant to our problem statement. Remove that. Remove that data from our data set. This is the second step. That is data preparation. and the next step is data wrangling data wrangling is almost similar to data pre processing it is nothing but converting raw data into a use usable format and the next fourth step is data analysis what is this data analysis once the raw data is converted into a usable format we should be in a position to analyze the data analyzing the data involves three steps one is selection of analytical techniques next is building the models and the next is reviewing the result what is the selection of analytical techniques the analytical techniques are of two types one is classification and the other is regression this classification deals with discrete data that is or it it might be binary data it might be a normal data coming to the regression it is 
continuous it deals with continuous data continuous data it, it may include decimal values in it in regression in class this classification gives you the output stating that yes or no format also The main aim of this step is to build a machine learning model to analyze the data using various analytical techniques and review the outcome. These analytical techniques are classification as well as regression. Here it starts with the determination of the type of the problems where we select the machine learning techniques such as classification, regression, cluster analysis and association. This cluster analysis and association deals with regression. Here clustering is nothing but grouping the data. Grouping the data is nothing but where all the similar data will be characterized into the one group and all other similar type of data will be characterized into the other group then build the model using prepared data and evaluate the model next is the fifth step is training the model how we have to train the model now the next step in this step we train our model to improve its performance for better outcome of the problem finally improving the performance or improving the accuracy is very important in this machine learning we here we use different data sets we can collect this data sets from date from kegel or any other websites and we also can prepare our own data sets uh, here we use data sets to train the model using various machine learning algorithms training a model is required so that it can understand the various patterns it has to fall it has to understand the patterns yeah it the uh, the model has to collect the data while analyzing the data it has to it has to understand the what type of pattern is it following what type of pattern is the machine learning going understand is is there in our data set and next is rules and feature of the data set that is what training model the just uh, training model is nothing but understanding the under training model is nothing but understanding the pattern understanding the pattern in our data what type of pattern is our data following what type of rules are data following what type of features is our data containing is what about training the model and the next is test the model once our machine learning model has been trained on our given data set then we test the model what is this test the model so suppose this is the data set okay i have to divide this data up collect here first i'll be collecting the data from different sources and then what i have told you is we have to pre process the data that is converting the raw data into the uh, usable data and then is training the model and testing the model training the model and testing the model we have to train 70% of our data and we have to check for the accuracy and then we need to send this training data for a testing the rest 30% is what we give for a testing the model the input which we have given in the training model is it will differs from the testing model all the similar it in this this what does a testing model do it has to analyze the pattern what happened in the training it has to understand the training in depth and then we have to give the model to our testing the and final out finally before deploying we need to check for the accuracy it should check for the accuracy and the last is deployment after training and testing after training the model and testing the model we have to deploy our model into the real world that is what deployment is if the above prepared model is producing an accurate result 
the accurate result should be from the testing model On, only when we give we get the accurate model if here in testing model we use different machine learning algorithm where we have discussed like uh, different types of machine learning algorithm navy based decision tree if your accuracy is less than if your model is giving accuracy of 60% then switch the algorithm use decision tree use random forest use different different algorithms and get to the conclusion mostly a random forest algorithm gives the highest accuracy if the above prepared model is producing an accurate result as per our requirement with acceptable speed then we deploy the model in the real system but before deploying the project we'll check whether it is improving its performance or not that's it that is what uh, machine learning life cycle is about we have to follow all these seven data seven steps where an indus even an ml engineer also has to follow all these steps an ml engineer suppose an ml engineer will be allocated with different data and he has to follow all these data before submitting the project that's it thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates